Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be breaking down my top 10 list of YouTube rappers. So basically, I'm going to be breaking it down based on lyrical content, replay value, how good it sounds. We're not going to be doing this by popularity, otherwise it would be pretty obvious, and you could just easily search that up on YouTube by looking at their statistics and numbers and all that. So let me just go ahead and put on my uh, headphones. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Alright, so first rapper on the list is KSI. Originally, he's a gaming YouTuber, but then he started break, branching off, and I guess he realized his true passion was for music, and he started putting his music on his YouTube channel. People weren't rocking with it at first, but then slowly and slowly, one of his songs got on the top 100 in the UK, so you know, that's what's up. So the song I'm going to be using, by the way, for each song, I'm going to be choosing the best song that I think represents like each uh, YouTube rapper's like flow and the lyrics and all that which like their best like their best song to me in my opinion oh by the way don't forget to go ahead and leave your opinion in the comment of your own top 10 list you might just wait for me to finish my top 10 before you go ahead and just go off on me because i got my reasons for everything that i'm choosing so you know a lot of these people it was really it was really hard to make this list because i like all of these rappers but it was just it was tough because you know my they're also my favorite youtubers they all have great personalities all that stuff but we're not riding nobody i'm gonna keep it a thousand and yeah, if you don't like it, go ahead, press the dislike button, leave a hate, leave a hate comment if you want. But that's besides the point. You see that? Just off of that, this is a diss track, so it's already turned, like, can you imagine, most people, they can only listen to a diss track the first time it comes out, because it's just in that moment, but I could replay this back, and I could still turn up and forget that it's a diss track. So, yeah, for that reason, KSI is number 10. I'm not gonna get too into, he has great songs. It's, for some people, it's, for me, it's hard, because I'm from, I'm not from the UK, so I'm not used to hearing UK rappers' accents, so that's the only reason why he's a, he's a little bit lower in the list, but he's pretty lyrical, though. Just listen to his other songs. So number nine is the one and only Bilu Bilu or Luwa Luwa a Luwa yeah <laughs> all hundreds no ones Bilu <laughs> so Bilu is best known for his freestyles and him and his bro Zeus like Zeus really helped him out you know he's on his channel they always do a freestyle before uh, most of the reaction videos which is tough and I can tell that. B. Lou was meant to like rap because like he's so good at freestyle. Off all of this is like usually off the top. So imagine if he were to write something, he would be a lot higher on the list. He would be top three if he wrote more. But he said that he's more of like a vibing with the beat type person. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys take a listen to B. Lou the race. To me, this is his best song. And then after that, it's the 600k flow that they did when they got when Z's got 600,000 subscribers. So you know, this is tough. Boom. Ah. Facts. So B. Lou been selling a lot of stuff. You listen to his other songs, bro. <laughs> Yo, which song was? It was the rubbing off the paint. He 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 been selling a lot of stuff in different grades. I don't know if he's joking. I think he's joking. I don't know, but. Can't be a die yourself on these songs, but carry on. Mm. This be bumping, boy. You see how he running on the beat? That's why he num. That's why he number nine. <clears throat> Excuse me, so, but uh, for number eight, uh, hold on, let me see. Am I rapping too much? Okay, yeah, okay, we got 15 minutes on the clock. I'm not trying to make this video too long because this video is gonna be like 25 minutes. But yeah, the next person on the list, I'm gonna put Rice Gum, and Rice Gum would be a lot higher on the list if it wasn't for like uh, his ghostwriting allegations. You know, because of that, we we, we want to get credit to the people that are really putting it work to write. But I, I can tell that he's improving because his first raps, like they were like not that great. They were literally just for. Comedic purposes, so to see him glow up and become a better rapper and be writing more. So I know he works with the disc rapper, the disc rapper is his alleged uh, ghost writer, but that's neither here nor there. 
he's still on the list at number eight because he's improved a lot. Oh, ever ever since the uh, the Gabby diss track that he did, I think that's when he like started to like really take rapping more seriously, and it was like less jokey and more like intense. But yeah. Ice, ice. You see that? That's big shots. Kylie Jenner, the Kardashian family, the Jenner—they're all known for being fake and having like all this plastic surgery. The realest person in the family is Kanye, just because he's married to Kim. Uh, poor Kanye, that man need to get out. Uh, man, his music was so great. Why they had to take Kanye? But that's besides the point. Like that, that, that was that was far. Then he he did this other bar in the song too. It was like uh, it said, "I got carrots, I got carrots in my ice like a snowman." That joint was tough because carrots like diamonds. In my ice like a snowman, snowman ice. That was bars. That that Justin Bieber song was very annoying. I'm not even gonna hold you. Hey. But yeah, Rice Girl is pretty lit, bro. Like, he's gotten so much better. Like, just listen to his old stuff from like 2016 and late 2015. You'll see all the improvement. Alright, so next person is DDG. DDG, he's a uh, well known vlogger. He dropped out of. Uh, out of college because he was doing so well on YouTube there was really no point he was making too much money he's making more than a teacher more than a rapper you'll, you'll hear it later in the song and this song I like is he's personal he's not rapping about shooting people he just talk about his life and like how far he's come on YouTube and how he was really grinding and putting that work like this man he there was a time during the summer he was uploading three videos a day who else is doing that that's dedication the man really on his grind so you gotta respect the hustle but yeah this is a song take me serious I noticed. We don't talk too often. His flow is straight too. Mm. I'm sorry to pause it again, but it's true though. When people they're not gonna really show their appreciation for you until you're dead and gone, which is tragic, but it is what it is. People, everybody really loves you until everybody really shows how much they care about you when you're gone. But you know, people always show their appreciation too late. But that's not the here there. Okay. Uh huh. So you better watch it. Watch it. Hey. He did. Mm. Oh yeah, you better you better give God the glory because you could put in all the work all the work in the world, but without God, you're not really nothing. But yeah, he making more than a teacher, making more than a rapper, putting out work. I'm saying DDG, solid flow. His song Javinci on uh, World Star, that's like 10 million. But to me, that's more like a, a turn up song. It's not really like bars. It's just him like flexing. So, you know, but that gives a pass. So the next song, that, the next rapper I'm going to be talking about is uh, Lee Jack. And let me see. What is he? Okay, so he's uh, number six on the list. So I'm about to show you guys why. So basically, Lee Jack, when he first started, he was doing, uh, like, he was roasting people in raps. So it was tough. Like, it was, like, usually a mix of freestyles and some written. And the dude can really sing, too. So this is his uh, song called Campus Girl. He at first started off as a 10 toes challenge, but this man really talented. So go ahead, give it a listen. He's about to spit. Okay. I know, I know a lot of people when they hear this song, they, there's somebody in their mind that they're thinking about it right now. Like somebody they try to spit game to, somebody they was going after. And, you know, somebody that you was really to like, you was trying to uh, throw, throw 100% in, you know? But yeah. The thing I like about Lee Jack is his songs are relatable. Like, he's from the DMV too. Like, he's from Virginia, so I'm from Maryland. So he's like in the same area. So it's good to see people in our area like being successful. But anyway. Mm -hmm. 
tell me how you feel. Tell me what you gotta say. Let me rub up on those feet while you tell me about your day. I can see it in See, he be on beat. The flow is nice, it's clean, it's polished. Like, you can tell he's been rapping for a long time. This man been rapping since high school days, so that's tough. But yeah, uh, for the next person, let me see how much time we got left on the clock. Okay, time is ticking, time is ticking. And uh, yeah, so next person is this guy named Crank Lucas. And the reason why he's number five is because he's more of a producer, but all his videos are like skits based around music, and he raps from different perspectives. Like, he'll rap from the perspective of a mumble rapper, a lyrical rapper, and just any type of rapper in general. So in this song, it's called When Your Engineer Raps Better Than You. I'm going to leave a link to all the uh, the original videos, by the way, so you guys can check them out for yourself. But yeah, like, just go ahead and listen to this. The beat bump it, too. Watch, he about, to, he, about to, he about to show you. Watch me, watch this. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, throw it down on track. Helly season, if you're not from the DMV, Helly Hensel jacket is like a uh, winter jacket that people wear for snowboarders for intense weather. And in Maryland, is really popular around here. So, you know, when you strapped up with the heli, like you strapped up with the heli like a gun or you got the heat on you, I'm saying that's, that's what you talking about. Gotta pay attention to the bars. See, do you see the way he is spaz on the beat? Talking about the bullet, you're not gonna be able to to dodge him? That's tough. Like this man is really spazzing on the beat. Just listen to everything he says. And okay, we got eight minutes left. So the next person on the list is number four. And it's this guy, aka the disc rapper. He's known for like bodying people like this rapper, I've watched his live stream, so I know that he actually writes his songs like he's not that great at freestyling because he takes a lot of time to put he takes a lot of time to think about what he's gonna write and how he's gonna rap and how he's gonna flow and what beat that he needs. So he's like pretty he's very lyrical. That's why he's in the top he's in the top four. So uh yeah, I'm go ahead. He did a remix to um what's that song? First Day Out by T Grizzly. It was basically a diss track to Team 10. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, by the way. But uh, yeah, this is the song right here. That's the camera, by the way. You got the G set, the G, whatever the camera went. You heard what he said, but that camera, good camera. You know what I'm saying? Candy cameras are usually pretty solid, but I'm a Nikon guy, but that's besides the point. Mm. Oof. Oh, he's about to go off. I felt that the only chick I had was Siri, cause ain't a female trying to rock with you when you broke. That's real, bro. That's real. You about to spaz? Hold up, bro. You about to spaz? Mm, that's facts. That whole line started a whole beef. <laughs> Hey. Oh, by the way, before the be like super drop, that's why I say hey, Rice, they homies, but allegedly he's also uh, his his uh his ghostwriter. So you know what I'm saying? You see where the bars coming from? Pay attention to the flow. Ooh, that's crazy. Yeah, so basically, you're not afraid to diss nobody. Anybody can get this free smoke, bruh. Free smoke for everybody. Anybody can get it. But yeah, so that's the reason why uh, the diss rapper is number four. The top three people on this list are more lyrical than him in pretty much every way. 
But like the, this rapper, like my goodness, if he if he made music more often, he would definitely be like number two on the list. But I had to switch him around because he doesn't upload consistently enough to be like to be higher on the list. But if he did, he would definitely be number two. But uh, yeah, and I'm gonna just pause and switch my battery real quick. All right, guys, decided to switch the battery real quick. And so basically, I'm about to give the last three. Right now, we're at the top three of the list. It's about to be lit. I'm just saying. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, for number three, it's a rapper, it's a YouTube rapper that most people don't even know about. But a lot of people know about it, but like, a lot of people in my circle don't know about him. And you know, I guess black people don't really like to listen to white rappers, but you gotta get credit where credit is due when somebody got this type of lyrical ability. So this is a guy named The Real AK. Like, first time I heard about him, he did a remix of the Panda, to Panda instrumental. That jam was crazy. It had like 17, it had like like over 10 million views on YouTube. That day was went viral. But yeah, basically this is one of his original songs. And even his own original songs, this song has 1.9 million views. So clearly the dude is up there. He's so lyrical. Like, he raps on beat. He float, his flow is nice, polished, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got a studio set up in all his videos. He just goes in. He has like one music video that was pretty good too. Just about him like rapping differently and not always like following the standard of other people. That's what I like about him. He's not trying to hop on nobody wave, he's literally rapping the way he wants to rap and not imitate anybody. So I like rappers like that. So let's go ahead and jump into like this song. It's called The Process. By the real AK, by the way. I'm sorry, I gotta pause. You see the flow? The intensity? This is what push you into the top three uh YouTube rappers, cause the intensity, the bars are there. Let me just go ahead and play the next thirty seconds you can hear. I'm a nerd, but I cannot pass like one of my classes. Like you gotta understand, like there, are, there are people that are so smart, but the way the system is set up, people that don't get a certain type of grade, they're gonna be deemed as not as intelligent. Like I said, there are dumb people that get A's all the time. There are smart people that don't pass tests all the time. Like intelligence is subjective, in my opinion. Right? Is that, is that the right? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't remember. But basically, I'm, what I'm saying is that intelligence cannot be determined by papers. It's about real realisticness and how you use how you apply that intelligence how you apply said knowledge and that's what gives people wisdom and having wisdom is better than having intelligence because wisdom allows you to apply things in real life intelligence could just be book smart you could be street smart but wisdom is where it's at but yeah basically let me just go ahead and get back to this mm, straight shots if I wasn't if I was in your shoes, I probably wouldn't do ish. Meaning that people like you, everybody that's watching right now, we all had a moment of laziness. But he pushed it to the grind. This guy like this guy like seventeen or eighteen, he's really young. Oh no no, he's in college now. He or he was going to college. I, I don't remember. But basically he's young. He's like under twenty. But I'm just saying, bro, not everybody on that grind, like when you put YouTube full time and you're rapping and people tell you that, oh you need to stop rapping, you need to focus on school, like Man, forget what everybody's saying, bro. Focus on your grind and just keep going in. Like, if you're a rapper and you think you're really good, and the way you know that you're good is that people will support you. Well, actually, that's not even a clear indication because people will su people can fake support you even if you're trash. But if you're a per if you're really bad at rapping, people, your real friends will tell you that you're bad. And you can either quit rapping or you can take their critique and become better at rapping. And that's what the best rappers will do. They Not every rapper starts off Flowing like uh, the disc rapper or him or the real AK. They, some people got to start off trash before you become better. Like, just the way it is. You got to start from the bottom, practice, fail a couple of times, take L's, get like a bunch of hate, critique from people, and then use that critique, use that as motivation to get better. But yeah, let me go ahead and continue. See, and this thing is pretty straight too. Like, I didn't even know he could sing until I first heard this song. I'm like, okay, like, hook. And the thing about being a person that even if you're not a great singer, but you can like melodize really well, you don't have to be paying people for features like that. Cause then it's all you. You trying to be like J Cole, double platinum, no features. <laughs> 2014, Forty Four Drive, and then he did it again on uh, <laughs> For Your Eyes Only. But I'm just saying, if you that talented, you don't need no features. It's all you, all your work, all your grind. It shows. All right. So anyway. Now we're going to go into number two. So number two is a reactor. 
slash rapper named I'm Dante, aka Dante, aka <laughs> the guy that he this man can mumble rap too, but like he did a mumble he he called he made a uh, mixtape called Dumb It Down, which was funny because like because he likes mumble rap too, like he appreciates both sides of the spectrum. He'll say that mumble rap is good, like to listen to, but he also is like a lyrical person, like he raps lyrical, but he can do both if he wanted to, but he's more on the lyrical side because that's what he grew up listening to. So that's what I like about Dante. He's open minded. He's not one of those people. He's not an old head. He's actually like 23 or 22 or 23. One of those in that age. He's pretty young. And like, dude's different. Like, he's not rapping the same as other YouTube rappers. He's not dropping as many songs, but clearly you can tell the intensity, the passion for music is there. That's why he's number two. Because when he does rap, he's going in. He's not holding back. He's spazzing on the beat. That's why he's number two. And also because his personality is just like pretty obvious to his songs. And this song is called Bar Spar, and it's basically like a, a diss track response to somebody named Six Seconds. But yeah, go ahead and listen to this. Yes, you can say I'm on a conquest to test who's best with pen in the past. Phone or a Mac or any device that you write your raps on. Mm. You hear that, bro? The intensity's already there. Any device that you write your pen in your past, he's coming with the intensity. It don't matter what you're writing on. He's coming to fight you. He's dropping bars like a sword on you. He's swinging. He's going in. Come on, dog. And if you start like that, you can't take no L's. That's, that's what we call W mode. All these people taking L's, put it together, that's a dub right there, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Basically, his rapping is so powerful that sometimes if he doesn't use it properly, he can really hurt somebody. That's why he don't like doing diss tracks, because he can really body you. That's tough! Come on, bro. The bar's going over your head. Mm. <laughs> like I'm, I'm flowing here, then I'm flowing there. <laughs> like I, I switch my position. That's tough. So I'm saying, Dante, he likes that, bro. Mm. Mm. Woo! Fire, bro. Hey. See, that's what I'm talking about, bro. When you rap, you better have that confidence. When other people say, who's the best rapper, you don't say, oh, that person's a good rapper, that person. No, I'm the best rapper. Like, when I spit and I'm rapping and I'm flowing, I gotta be my element. That's how you gotta feel when you're a rapper. That's why Dante's number two. Confidence out there, bro. Like, you know I'm saying, it's good. it's good to be humble. But you also got to be confident in your ability to rap. So that's why Dante is number two. The song, Bar Sparring. It's called Bar Sparring for a reason, because he's hitting you with the bars. This is this is just some light. This is not even his... This, this is some light. The, the best is yet to come. All right, so for the very last person on this list, number one, the person that you've all been waiting to figure out is Dax. And the reason why I put Dax as number one is because he's... This man, all eight, ninety percent of his uh, videos on his YouTube channel are music are uh, music related, and he has like okay, so ninety. Also, another ninety percent of his songs they have music videos, and the people that shoot his music videos do a great job. And I believe he dropped out of college to like pursue his uh, rap career on YouTube, and he's doing a great job. His most popular video has seventeen million views. He made like a remix to the Catch Me Outside by Remix the Sway Guy. That that thing is tough, like, but. Out of all the songs that I chose, I chose uh, Panda Lost Brother Remix. He made a music video for this. And the reason why I'm choosing this song is because it shows how like different he is, right? When he first started, he was making parody rap. Like He made a song called, uh, he made a, a, a parody of Timmy Turner. And so many people were saying that he looks like designer because he has a high top. And like they have a similar nose structure. And this is what this song is based on. I just think it's entertaining because he turned all those people hating on him. And comparing it to another rapper that he's lyrically way better than, which is funny because design is more for the hook. Like, he can freestyle. The hooks are tough. But Dax is a lyricist at his finest. Like, he's done remixes to uh, Tupac's old stuff. Man, I, this man is really talented. So, yeah, I'm just going to let you listen to it. So, basically, in this video, he's, he gets kidnapped by a designer, which is himself. Because, you know, he's playing design because he looks like him and stuff like that. And basically, the way to get out of the situation, he has to spit a fire rap and then designer will let him go. But yeah. And if you don't believe me, D Pay attention, y'all. This is bars right here. Man. Listen to his credentials. Mm. I even this gosh darn rap. I probably don't care. But I dare you to find How many rappers do you know off the top of your head can rap without cursing? I mean, I can list a few like Andy Minio, Lecrae, 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'm, I mean, like, li literally, most people, like, you can tell that a person's not that good. If they have to curse every other line to make a rap, like, if I said rap for the president right now, but make it clean because he got to like it too, a lot of rappers can't do that because their first uh, line of rap has to be something cursing. But, like, he can, you can make something positive out of rap too. That's why I like that. See, of, of course, he has some songs with curses in them, but I'm saying, like, if he wants to, he doesn't need to rely on a curse where, like, just like how Eminem, he doesn't have to rely on using the word, on using the N-word in his raps. It just shows you that he's great. He's lim by not having to use, like, a hateful word or, like, something. It just shows you that you're good regardless. It doesn't matter what color you are. If you can rap, you can rap. And Dax is a proof of that, so. You got that? Six, six foot two with this type of mobility? Usually when someone is this tall, they can't move like this. So a lot of people, they want him to play basketball, right? And while he's good at basketball, his true passion is being a rapper. So that's what he chose instead, instead of locking himself down to what people want him to be, which is tough. So I gotta, gotta respect the grind, the hustle. Mm. Be like a captain, kill like assassin. He's basically just putting out the best examples of each type of noun that he just put out. If you lead it, <laughs> come on, bro. You gotta lead like a captain. If you kill him, you gotta be like an assassin. You gotta be the best at what you do, regardless of what you're doing. So, man, you rappers are not safe. Mm. You are not safe when Dax is around. If we're talking lyrical, if, if Dax was to go against, like someone beat, people don't beef with Dax for a reason. I can't think of any rapper that's actually, people have this have dissed them, but they never made a rap towards him. You know why? Because if Dax, if you diss Dax in a rap, he's going to literally verbally annihilate you. You cannot beat him in a diss rap. Like, the only person that could probably go up against him is Eminem. And Eminem is kind of washed up now, but that, that's what sounds like. Eminem's still a great rapper. I'm just saying, like, you can't diss somebody like him and expect to like come out victorious because he can really spit. He can he can he can respond to you within 24 hours. That's how good he is. The same, bro. Number one for a reason. See, that's, that's what's up. He's going to continue rapping. Whether you like him or not, he's going to go in. He's spazzing on the beat. But yeah, so in conclusion, um, who, let, let's go ahead and go back to the list one by one again. So number 10, KSI Earthquake. Number 9, b -Lou, The Race Remix. 8, Rice Gum God Church. 7, DDG. We use Take Me Serious. Number 6, Lee Jack, Campus Girl. Number 5, Crank Lucas. Number 4, The Disc Rapper. Number three, the real AK. Number two, I'm Dante. And number one, Dax. So yeah, that's it for my top ten list. If you disagree with me, go ahead and leave your comments below. Tell me what you didn't like, who you would put in order. Are there any rappers that I missed out on? I know there was a few that I missed out on because I, I wanted to put them in the list, but it's like, like, like I would put Acers in the list, or Acers, however you pronounce it. The guy that does, um, he does... Like, Emmett, he does voice imp imp impressions, impersonations, whatever you want to call it. Because he can rap too. And, like, he makes parody songs using other people's voices. So, I know he's talented. So, and Dwayne from Dwayne and Jazz, he can rap too. And, like, I've heard him, like, he did, like, he's done parody raps. And this is a guy named Samaj. I didn't put him on here because most of the raps that he makes are pretty much, uh, like, I would say, like, auto-tune a lot. But I remember the one time, the reason why I found him because he dissed I'm Dante one time. And that time he rapped lyrical. But he doesn't do that often, so that's why he's not on the list. But yeah, honorable mention, Samaj, Dwayne from Dwayne and Jazz, and Asterisk, the guy that does the voice impressions. He can rap too. He can rap in other people's voices, which is even cooler. But he's just not really putting out like, like songs like that. But he, he puts out songs, but it's not like, it's just for the sake of doing the voice impression in it too. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. Go ahead, leave a comment. Go ahead, like, dislike, but it doesn't matter. Go ahead, share, your, share this video with other people. Let all the people in this video see it. See what I had to say about them. Got to get the critique in. You know what I'm saying? I'm not right. Nobody. This is my opinion. This is what I like. We're not doing this by numbers. We're doing this by quality. The bars. The lyrics. That's what rap is about. The competition. Like, if someone diss you right now, you're going to be able to spaz back. If someone disrespects you, are you going to be able to top the challenge? Are you going to be able to be better than your peers and be on top? That's what rap is about. 
Just being able to let your emotions out and just like let your flow just speak for yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you can't talk, you rap. And I'm out. Peace. I ain't really wanna do it. I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof. Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you. I ain't really wanna do it. I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof. Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be on sneaky move. I ain't really wanna do it. I pulled up, 